If you're looking for an affordable new construction home in Dripping Springs, there are three communities that I definitely think you need to check out. Watch this video and I'll break down all the details for you. So Dripping Springs is an absolutely beautiful suburb area just southwest of Austin. The average price point in there is a little more expensive though. It's probably closer to the 800,000 or so range. There's homes that are in the millions and all kinds of prices in between. So to get into Dripping Springs for under 500,000 is definitely a challenge. But right now there are three neighborhoods that are selling homes that are even in the 300s, which is quite shocking. Um, but most of them are gonna fall into that 400,000 range. So I'm gonna break down the three neighborhoods and let you know the details about it so you can see which one might be the right fit for you. So the first neighborhood is Big Sky Ranch. Now this neighborhood's been around for a couple years already. It's mostly finished out by now. Meritage Homes is the builder in there and they have built a variety of homes with larger ones on 65 foot lots. There's medium sized homes on 50 foot lots and then they even have a section that's more like town homes on 40 to 45 foot lots. So to just show you an idea on the pricing in here, here's a couple of uh, properties that are listed right now on the MLS that are available as inventory homes. The great thing about the inventory homes is that you have a better chance of bargaining the price, asking for closing costs and other things than you would if you were building from scratch. So at the bottom of the list, there's one here. This is more of the townhome style, three bedrooms, a two-story home, about 1884 square feet, and it's only listed at 388,115. So to get this home, an 1800 square foot home under 400,000 is amazing. This could also be great for someone that's looking for an investment opportunity, um, first time buyer, retiree, someone that just doesn't wanna spend a lot on a home. And what's great about this neighborhood and the other two I'm gonna show you is that the tax rates are also low. They're all about 1.68%. Now average around Austin is probably closer to 2% or so. So to get something below 2% on an annual tax rate is amazing. The other thing I like about this community is the location. So the three communities we're gonna look at are all just right next to each other and they're right in the heart of Dripping Springs. So right off of Ranch Road 12 and Highway 290, you'll find Big Sky Ranch. It is great because you're conveniently located to a lot of little shops, restaurants, um, there's a Home Depot, there's an HEB, there's shopping not too far away down a 290 in Belterra Village. And you can also do fun things like take Highway 12 out to uh, Wimberley and check out that little cute downtown square area. You can get to the lots of wineries, distilleries, and just fun things to visit out in the hill country as well. And you're also not that far to get into Austin in case you do work in the city and need to commute. So I love these locations. I think they're a great opportunity to get into Dripping Springs at an affordable price. So the newest development is Cannon Ranch. Now this one is just starting to get built out. The builder in here is going to be Ashton Woods and it is going to be located right next to Big Sky Ranch. They're gonna be adjacent to each other as you can kind of see on this map. Now, Ashton Woods does not yet have their model up and running, but you can go visit them in a nearby community and at least see what the product looks like and find out more about the floor plans and the options that they have available. So this one is just getting going. I'll show you a couple of examples of what you can buy in that neighborhood to sh just to see the price points. So here's an example of a home that's on the MLS right now. This one is listed for 435,000. It's just under 1,600 square feet. Uh, one story, three uh, bedrooms in there. And again, it's got that low tax rate of 1.68%. There's a good chance you can probably get incentives if you use the builder's lender, you might be able to get the price down a little bit. So the sticker price does not necessarily reflect all the savings you can get in today's market. We have a slower market this spring because interest rates are high and a lot of our buyers are swooping in and taking advantage of it, especially with new construction. I've never actually seen a time where I've had more 
buyer bargaining power than I have in this year. Our spring season is definitely feeling a little bit slower because of the rates. So if you know how to work around that, get closing costs, buy your rate down, lower your price, you can really take advantage um, this year than you probably could have in other years in the past. Now the third neighborhood is Heritage. This neighborhood is right across uh, Ranch Road 12, so it's still in that same little area. They even have a sidewalk where you can walk from the neighborhood to the downtown part of Dripping Springs, which makes it so fun for festivals like the Founders Day Festival. You don't even need to move your car. You can literally just walk there from your neighborhood and enjoy all of the festivities. This one also has that same low tax rate of 1.68%. There's two builders that are building in here. It's going to be a little bit larger size community and they've already started in there. They're finishing out a phase. They're gonna be opening up a new phase pretty soon. So the two builders are MI Homes and TriPoint Homes. MI Homes is going to be the more affordable of the two options. You can definitely get something in there in the 400s range. Uh, TriPoint's a little bit pricier, but they do a very good quality product and so they might have extra design features and things that are probably worth spending a little extra for if you want to. Now, to give you an example though, here's a tri-point home that's actually on the market right now. So this house is listed for 489,000, just right around 490. It is about 1,900 square feet, also a three bedroom, and it's a great opportunity to get a one-story home from TriPoint, which is, like I said, a little bit nicer quality, a little more dressed up than the MI homes, and again, you can negotiate, try to get that price down a little bit, but that's a great opportunity in Heritage. If you wanna see more of Heritage, I've actually shot an entire video just about that neighborhood and the opportunities in there. So definitely go check that out if you want more information. But I'd love to know what you think so far. What do you think of these prices, the location? Which of these communities would you be most interested in building in? I'd love to know your comments in the comment section below.